There's a reason why you guys are here. Because we know that Cass Tech has some of the best and brightest students that this city has to offer. We know that there are a lot of schools that have a lot of uh, talented and bright students. But we know that you're also among them and we very badly wanted you to be here today and we're glad you're here today, okay? So what we're gonna do now is you're gonna hear from Teresa and she's gonna let you know who your job shadow partner is for the day. And the goal for that is for you to get an idea of what that person does and how that ties into the overall vision that Kara provides his clients. And part of that is what we want you to see is how the different disciplines and the different skill sets come through in this entire organization and how they pull all those things together to provide value to their client. And the reason we want you to see this is that these are talents that we want you to understand that you are already training for. And so this is a, a career entry worth considering. That's what we hope you will take a look at today. Okay, guys? All right, it's a pleasure to meet all of you. And I hope you have a great day. I'm Phil DeAngelis. I work with the creative team for Isobar. And Dan Young Explorers is my favorite event every year. I signed up just because I think it's really great to work with the community. I think we have some more students who were definitely uh, enlightened. It's important to show the young talent that they don't have to leave the Metro Detroit area to find wonderful jobs and wonderful opportunities. Today we walk the students through kind of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it's incredibly important for the corporate community, especially the new corporate community in Detroit, to tap into the immense resource of Detroit public school students and Detroit children in general. It was a great day today. I had a chance to sit down with three uh, Cast Tech uh, sophomores and talk to them a little bit about the advertising industry and how I got into the industry. Going down memory lane, talking about the college experience and uh, supports of studying abroad. I took anthropology classes at some you know, great university. Just try all these different schools within a school and really explore my passion and interests. We wanted to welcome you That's just the nature of the business um, because a lot of the data um, that we do have, it tells a story for our client. We have a team here who's working with the show to say like, hey, we have this car, these are the teachers we really like, and then they work with us, like the uh, blackish producers work with us and say like, okay, well this is the proper thing for the show, how do we go today? Anything that we make that you read online, watch online, hear online, all of that stuff runs through my team, so that's what I do there. Kind of clear, halfway clear. Okay. All right. So five companies. I'm, I'm blessed to have the honor of running two of them. You can't. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to show up, stand up straight, give them a good handshake. Superman is one of many good men. Right. Uh, so, anyways, I have a strategy where I call uh, train on Krypton, play on show. The idea is you go and you play with the best. You go play with all the A players. You push yourself to be the best version you can. But critical to success quite often um, is finding those moments where you can be an A player among C players. Right? A players get more opportunities, A players get seen, A players get exposure. So today was an amazing experience. I was super excited when Robin asked me to come present, um, especially to high school students. Um, I have presented to college students on the same subject. Um, I present yeah. to clients all the time. And what's so special about this is um, how eager they are to listen and hear and how amazed they are by what we do every day. I wish I would have had this sort of exposure at that age um, to sort of know what the advertising business was all about. Um, so it was, it was super fun for me to be able to share my knowledge. Hopefully, um, I've sparked some interest in some of those minds there that make them want to pursue a career in advertising. And hopefully they take out of it that they were exposed to something that they may have otherwise not been able to find out about. I learned that uh, advertising is more than just trying to catch the eye. It's about catching the eye and then after that, then keeping it going and figuring out what's useful and what's not useful. Before coming here, I always thought that media was produced by the company. You know, like it was an inside job, but now I know that it's more of an outside job and that the companies who are being advertised are more just the showcase and the people behind it are really big companies. A lot of people don't know about them because they're behind the scenes. I learned a lot of things about advertising and 
the deeper part of owning a business. I learned that it's not just a one-step process. It takes a lot of different people and they all come together as a team to make one thing happen and how they use different things to find the ad that's perfect for you and how that can affect the business. And they, then they take that data and you know they see if it works or not. And then they kind of go back to the drawing board and how much a picture versus a video can affect the user and the customer. Very, very exhilarating. It's always good to have uh, your school here. Cash Tech has been consistently considered um, one of the brightest and one of the best uh, schools around. Um, surely during my day and it's good to see that the, the, the legacy continues. So it's always good to bring those guys in here, um, show them that one of their own has kind of, you know, stepped out and did his thing a little bit and they can do the same as well.